Yep. What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got another one from Don't Tell Comedy. Hmm. Okay. What we got? This is Alec Flynn. Alpha male content is insane. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alpha man content. Alpha male content, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, wonder where he's going with that. It's like the, uh, you know, like the Rambo type movies and shit, you know, shoot him up and like, or maybe like fighter type shit. You know? Right, right. Like, <laughs> uh, like, like that dude, uh, Andrew Tate, right? He's supposed yeah. to be like an alpha male. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Like, uh, what's that dude that got caught doing okay. steroids? He was big, big swole dude. Uh, um, black dude? I think his name. No, nah, he was white. He was a white mm-hmm. dude, but he got like okay. caught. He said he was doing shit yeah. naturally. He was like, Oh, uh, really? I forgot his name. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that type of stuff. Okay. 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 Well, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess it could be. It could be seen as insane. You know what I mean? I guess it's all how you perceive it, right? Like, yeah. is that Andrew Tate? Like, some of it, it's kind of, you know, it's a weird perception. Some of it, I could understand how it could be motivating. You know what I mean? And build confidence in some individuals. Yeah. You know, so, eh, eh, and teach his own. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But all the, right. The Liver King. The Liver King. Okay. The That's Liver King. That was his name? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, man. You ready? Yes. I just got fired, but I've been telling people I got laid <laughs> off. That's the move. You can't say fired. You got to say laid off. When you say laid off... Your friends actually have sympathy for you. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. You land on your feet. When you say you got fired, all they have for you is questions. <laughs> like, what happened? What'd you do? And I'd answer those questions if I had a cool answer. If I could say something like, oh, dude, they caught me vaping in the handicap stall. <laughs> they caught me jerking off in the handicap stall. <laughs> but I gotta look them dead in the face and just be like, oh, dude, they told me I was a bad culture fit. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, though. I am. I'm like a facilitator of workplace hatred. That's like my thing. Yeah. I'm like the last guy you want to see in a break room, truly. If you're having a bad day, I'm just going to pile on, really. <laughs> Open the cabinet. Oh, we're out of peanut butter pretzels again. I'm in the corner. This company doesn't fucking care about us. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't be the only person that actively roots against their company to fail, right? <laughs> Look, paycheck is nice and all, but... Wouldn't you just like to see it all burn? <laughs> it's a startup. Who would miss it, right? <laughs> I, know, I had to check on my resume for the first time in a while. You ever look at an old resume and just marvel at the lies? <laughs> Bold, italics, lies. It's all... I had a line in there that said, entrepreneur. Like, yeah, I used to sell Adderall. Like, what do we... <laughs> Damn. And I don't feel bad talking about that either because I don't think you can overdose on Adderall. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm not like a doctor or a reliable guy. I've just never seen an episode of CSI where they walk into a dead guy's place like, must have been an extended release. All oh, right. oh, this guy's chores are done. <laughs> I had to go to a bunch of job interviews, and I thought I'd be cruising through job interviews. You know, I'm a smart guy. I got a lot of charisma. I thought it'd be easy. <laughs> charisma. Most of the job interviews are online, though, so what happens is, uh, you know, you forget about them. You're, you're farting around the computer, you're watching a hockey fight compilation, and a uh, Zoom window pops up, you're like, oh, here we go, <laughs> all right? <laughs> and, you know, you could skate on charisma for, like, most of the small talk, but then they start to really hammer you with the tough questions. But, oh, uh, Alec, can you name a time in your life when you faced adversity? Have you ever been so unprepared it comes off as white privilege? <laughs> I'm like, adversity. (laughs) (laughs) And then you slam the screen shut and blame the Wi-Fi. That's the move. (laughs) Would you want me to wait and be like, oh, you know, this one time at sailing camp, there wasn't any wind. Like, (laughs) I'm gonna blame the Wi-Fi. temporary job right now. I'm a substitute teacher. Uh, yeah, if you ever wanted to find out how your friends really feel about you, just tell them that you're teaching. So they'll just say things to your face like, wow, they must really need people, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's a shortage of heroes right now, actually. 
It's always your buddies that work in like tech sales or something. And I would never say that to them about their jobs. I'd never be like, wow, they must really need a washed up D3 athlete with a coke problem, huh? <laughs> I'm doing my best for these kids, okay? I'm trying, I'm an educator. It is tough. I did a whole lesson on apostrophes the other day. I think it was all wrong. I think the whole thing was wrong. Apostrophes? <laughs> They're asking me like, how do I know if it's possessive? I'll sound it out. I don't know. I don't know. Good part about being a sub though, for the most part your job is just throwing on a movie and then watching the first half of that movie six times in a row during the day. By the time you get to seventh period, you're like, look, kids, we're starting Mulan from the middle, okay? <laughs> I gotta find out this bitch defeats the Huns. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and I don't like that word sub either. I think that's very demeaning to me, okay? In my classroom, I am not a sub. I am the dom, all right? <laughs> You'll find out everything about your life on the internet almost instantly. Remember when we were growing up and we thought all of our teachers just lived at the school? <laughs> now I'll be in the middle of a lesson, some kid will pull up his phone and just be like, damn, mister, you live in a bad part of town. <laughs> I had some kid comment on a comedy promo of me and he just said, your ass. <laughs> I was like, Eric, this needs an apostrophe, dude. Come on. <laughs> I wanna have, I'm trying to get a girlfriend right now. I put having a girlfriend on my vision board. It's a big goal for me. Don't laugh at that. I don't know, look, I just, everyone's got a girlfriend now. Even like the weird friend in my group, he's got a girlfriend and she's way out of his league, like suspiciously out of his league. But she says it's because he has big golden retriever energy. You heard that? Big golden retriever energy? That's, I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. It's cute, it's fun. Like, I wanna start saying that, big golden retriever energy. We were all calling it mild autism, so. <laughs> so if you met Dave, he's a biter. <laughs> and just dating as a whole, I'm feeling very hetero-pessimistic about it. Um, I'm straight guy. Any other straighties? Straighties? Woo! I'm trying, to, trying to make that <laughs> Like, we see each other. It's not really catching on. I'm working on it. I'm not a trendsetter. I just do my best. I, don't know. I just as a whole, it, like as for a straighty, you know, it's um, <laughs> as a guy. It feels like I'm always just giving dating advice I didn't ask for, especially on social media. On my feed, it'll just be beautiful women with their phones in front of their face saying things like, "Hey guys, here's the 13 things you do that give girls the ick." Number one, existing. Number two, <laughs> ankle socks. Like, all right, can I go to Kohl's or kill myself? What's the move? I'll do both. I'll try. I've seen them. I've seen them. The sad part is, though, the flip side of that coin is the alpha male content. The guys with the aviators smoking the cigars being like, how about you men are bred to be hunters? Are you ready to hunt for your prey? It's like, no, dude, I'm going to make, like, pizza rolls or something. <laughs> I hate all that alpha male content, dude. It's, okay. it's very toxic. <laughs> and especially it sucks when your friends do it. Like, they'll, I had a buddy posted an Instagram that said, when she broke up with you, she made a bet on your future. Make sure she loses that bet. I'm like, are you about to shoot up a casino? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's sad because I wish my boys could just feel comfortable enough to talk to me. Like, I've been going to therapy for like, like a month, okay? I'm an emotional intelligence brown belt at this point. All right, I got moves, dude. You want to kill yourself? You try going for a walk, my man? What about breathing, huh? I could use those tips, though. I'm not uh, great. I had a girl over my place the other night for a movie night, uh, and I picked out the movie. About halfway through, she starts kissing my neck a little bit. You know, hand starts going around my belt, so. I press pause, and I'm like, uh, hey, what's up? You don't like the movie? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and I know you wanted Netflix and chill. This is HBO Max, and pay attention right now. <laughs> and like, I get it. She wants to get into it on the first date. It's very fun and all, but I'm, I'm going slow in this hookup culture now because I, I've noticed that 
Although we're more likely to hook up on the first date, these hookups are turning into things that are a little bit more physical than for my liking. Like, I'm a kinky guy, I get it, okay? But it's a little bit different when we have a couple margaritas, you come back to my place, and there's a lot of slapping, spitting, choking, <laughs> pulling, grabbing, things of like that. I'm going on these hinge dates, I'm ending up in cage fights. Is this happening to people? <laughs> I'm wearing a condom and a mouth guard. I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> I'm just wearing a mouth guard. Come on, right? <laughs> Come on, give what it up. <laughs> he doesn't want any mouth part guard. of it, but uh, play along. And look, we're all kinky people, right? I like being kinky, that's very fun, but there's a difference between being kinky and being open the hand slapped in the face when you don't see it coming, okay? <laughs> She's riding you cowgirl and just whack! You like that? I'm like, yeah, that was hot. <laughs> give me a second, my eyes are coming. <laughs> It's like, what do I say to my boys when I've had an encounter like this? Because normally, sex is a very high five situation. We go back, we're pumped about it, we're stoked. But what do I talk about when I've had an encounter and I feel like I've been embarrassed and I feel used and I feel dirty? I'm like, yeah, dude, went back with the girl from the bar last night. Uh huh. Yeah? Well, let me tell you, my man, I could use a hug. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, that's been my time. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. That's a song. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> an open hand slap without you knowing it's coming. That's, a, that's, a... that's why you take it slow. In the... In the words of uh, Alec Flynn. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> he said he's an emotional brown belt <clears throat> for his friends' problems. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. He said he was a sub. He said he was a substitute teacher. That's one of the hardest jobs in the world. I know from experience, not from being a substitute teacher, but from being a student, a student that made it hell for a substitute teacher. <laughs> Definitely, man. You yeah. have no respect. <laughs> As a sub, you walk into that classroom with no respect. Right, 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 right. Surprised if you even make it to the classroom if there's a sub in there. Yeah. Yeah, no. But yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was always rushed for the subs. That's why they just put on a movie. Now, you might as well not try to teach anything. You might yeah, be. yeah, but um, yeah, man, funny dude, funny dude. Yeah, That's alpha funny, male man. content. I, I've seen that before. I've seen, I've seen both sides. I've seen the women, okay, and I've seen the men. Right. It's all on social media. What 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 would I, it be? alpha male content? What do you say the women content was? It was like, uh, like polls on what they don't like about men. Barbie content. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> That's what he called it. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think like what the opposite of alpha male. Okay. But alpha yeah. female. Yeah. 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 Maybe. I guess like. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be like <clears throat> an alpha female or like the most feminine female. It would be like I don't know. A mixture of the both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you think about it in a man sense, no, nah, yeah. that's stupid. But all right, man. 